welcome back to another episode of Convos at Home. Yay! Convos at Home where we learn a lot of things from you and me and our amazing guests. In in fact, sobrang dami ko natutunan past few episodes. Uh-huh, right? Talaga? Um, how to save up. Oh. What your love language is. Yeah. Diba? Um, mm-hmm. What else? Uh, you definitely have been learning a lot of Tagalog yes. on this Alam mo, alam ko podcast, na, alam ko right? na yung pornada. Wow! <laughs> but you know Are what? Are you guys to- proud? <laughs> yeah, and you know, today, sobrang mas marami tayong matututunan. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So if you guys are wondering, hey, my name is Bea Benedicto. You guys can call me Bea B. Hey, and I'm Jack too. You can call me Broski. There yeah. you go. Okay, ang question ko para sa inyo, are you feeling the heat of summer? Hindi naman halata, naka-leather jacket ako today. But we are feeling it. You know, sobrang init ngayon. Grabe. Sobrang init pero naka-leather jacket oh, syempre, ka. Syempre. Tapos naka-long sleeves ako. For eh. the fashion. <laughs> but you know, we've been researching on how to beat the heat. Mm-hmm. Keep and cool. Yeah, yeah. And there, there are a lot of tips. And you know what? Nahanap ko siya because I've been using PLDT Wi-Fi. Ayun. And you know, specifically, PLDT Home Fiber Only All 1799. Get better connectivity with PLDT Home Fiber Only All 1799. Have everything you need now in one upgrade. Enjoy unlimited internet speeds of up to 200 Mbps that comes with a special entertainment bundle plus more exciting promos and giveaways <sighs> monthly. Visit pldthome.com slash fiber dash upgrade for more details. Yon. But you know, actually, just just a question. Since since we're on the topic of like learning, mm. you you still remember who your favorite teacher or your professor is? <laughs> Favorite? As in yung totoong favorite? Oh, or totoong yung favorite. medyo nakakatakot na favorite? Meron bang nakakatakot na favorite? <laughs> Naalala mo ba yun? Guys, when we were in college, um, we decided to do like a minor in philosophy. Like additional <laughs> minor because we wanted to be lawyers. Uh, obviously, natuloy si Jack. Ako hindi na. But <laughs> we took a minor and we had this really scary prof there for our philo in film. Do you want me to name him? No, please! <laughs> <laughs> Every time may oral exam si Bea, oh nanginginig gosh. siya. Nanginginig talaga I siya. I cannot. Bakit ba tayo nag-minor doon? But, but ikaw, sino favorite mo? Mm, ikaw. Ako, your favorite oh. teacher <laughs> in life! Yes! Diba? Pwede. Pwede, di ba? Oh. Okay, tama na nga yan. Let's hear it from our netizens naman of the internet. These are the things that caught our attention. So let's kick things off with Netizen Says. Let's go to post number one from Puting Rice. Wow, we love diba? white rice. Pag uma- <laughs> pa- <laughs> Sorry, I just had to say it. I don't know, is it white rice or brown rice? Uh, uh, they're the same. You know, I think for me, same banana. I think a lot of people will disagree. Pero go, pag umaga, mainit. Tapos pag gabi naman, I miss you. Wow! Big <laughs> Land, ganun. Landi ng kanin na to. Ah. <laughs> sticky, sticky. Okay, eto. Second post from... Oh! Sabi ni Precious a Paula girl. Nicole. Sali ako at Bini underscore PH at itong video niya for the Pantropico Challenge. Do you know the dance steps? Uh, Do you know the dance oh steps? Oh my gosh, I am not a dancer. But we can try. Yeah, because you, you know what? Like when the pandemic started and everyone was just online posting dance moves, di ba? Oh. All their dance routines. Bakit mo ako binubuking? Hindi, hindi kasi... <laughs> <laughs> parang yun yung mga pinagawa niya sa akin dati. Parang, oh, aralin natin to. Tapos sobrang hindi ko magawa yung mga dance. Oh. Pero anyway, let's go to post number three from <laughs> Ashfall. Ashfall. Class suspension in PH because of unbearable heat. Mm. First time in my life hearing that as a reason for class suspension. Oh. Well, I think it's very valid naman. Actually, nainggit ako. Yeah. Kasi nung nagkatrabaho kami. Mainit din naman sa office. Pero hindi ko may pinauwi. Wala, wala. Di ba? Hindi ko may pinauwi. <laughs> pero office naman yun. Hindi, actually, kahit nga bumabag. Eh, parang napin ah, well, mo ano eh. Na- na-miss mo ko, nasa school ka. Ganun talaga. Uh, when you're an adult, they think you're um, hindi, parang minsan, unbreakable. <laughs> hindi, parang, parang minsan bumabag yun na. Oo. Parang hindi ka pa rin pinapauwi. No. Sige, hintay ako ng suspension from HR pero wala. <laughs> But good on these kids. I think it's very valid, especially with our weather now. It does get very bad. So guys, don't forget to drink your water, okay? Keep hydrated. Pero you know what? Let's now go to the real deal. Our episode today 
is about mastering the different learning styles. Wow. That could Bakit help naging parang, ano? not just parents and students. I feel so... Naging parang kung fu parang tayo Parang Confucius dito. type, ano, di ba? Ah, oh my gosh! <laughs> di ba, diba, nag-Chinese philo tayo? Balancing ball in the sunshine. Okay, anyway, you're guys. Giving so away, it. You're giving it away. <laughs> but, but, you know, there's just a lot to talk about. A yeah. lot to unpack. But will, that will benefit not just, you know, students, not just teachers, not everyone, but like, mm-hmm. even including adults. Yes, I'm sure. Diba? Our guest for today is a pre-med graduate from the Ateneo de Manila University who found her vocation in public school teaching. She was named as one of the outstanding women in the nation's service for her dedication in educating children, empowering teachers, and contributing to reforms in the Philippine education system. Damn, dami niyang ginawa. I know, I know, right? So well, I was just like listening to the intro and I was like, wow. <laughs> Let's all welcome teacher Sab Onkiko. Wow! Round of applause! Diba? Grabe, grabe. Hello, hello. <laughs> Kamusta? Hi, Bea, hi, Jack. Hello, <laughs> teacher Sab! Down from the hill. Down from the hill. <laughs> diba? <laughs> Talagang pag Ateneo, kailangan sabihin yun. <laughs> oh, what, what, what would you prefer? Wow, well, um, uh, men and women for others. Yes. Oh, <laughs> diba? Oh, magis, magis. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> diba? Did Did you write like that that um thing on, on top of your exams like AMDG or is that just for? I, I think that's uh, uh, oh, 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 oh. I you think did. It, yes. Oh, I'm the I, I did not. <laughs> so okay, hindi ako nag AMDG sa yeah. papel ko. But anyway. <laughs> Kamusta? How how is your day? How is your week? How is my year so far? Yeah, yeah. birthday. <laughs> Para oh, oh. na. Well, 2024 nag-start naman siya ng okay. Parang I think it's um it's a um, process of healing from healing. Oh. Hindi kasi 2023 maraming maraming loved ones na namatay. Oh. Right, sa right. So, yung mga malalapit kong may mga close friends ako and mentors who mm-hmm. so 2024 at least medyo nagre-recover tayo. Marami tayong natutunan uh-huh. which, diba? Yun yung topic natin yung learning. So, yes. yes, 2024 I think will be a year of learning for me. Learning Rocks. and growing. That means yes. yes. uh, You're a teacher. This is a year of learning. Diba? Kailangan connected. Ang, ang seryoso no, na teacher. nga ng sagot eh, babe. No, no, I, I, know, I, know. I know, I know. I know, but but you know what? Like, it's not typical to hear, right? Yeah. You graduated from Ateneo and then you moved on to uh, teaching in a public school. Mm. Nothing wrong with that, but like, how do you end up there? Yeah, what's the story? Yeah. Well, after college, back in... <laughs> Six years. Year. Oh, okay. Di ba, no? Back in last that year, year. Year, yeah, <laughs> last year lang yun eh. Last year lang siya. Diba batchmates na yun? Hindi. Older, older. But um, after graduation kasi, I went to do volunteer work. So, right. JVP, Jesuit Volunteers Philippines. So, for those who are interested to do volunteer work, they're accepting applications. Um, open na yung applications for oh, Jesuit Volunteers nice. Philippines. Oh, you did. Didn't you want to do that before? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh. Oh, for real. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow, okay. <laughs> yeah, so I got assigned sa Iloilo wow, for one okay. year. Tapos did um, community organizing, youth organizing. Tapos assigned ako sa education, um, ah. NGO. Okay. So dapat, so pre-med nga ako, bio yeah. major. And then, parang pagbalik ko, hindi ako nakabayad ng confirmation ko sa UST. To go to, to, med, to med school, school, school. dapat. And then, oh. so I waited. Sabi ko, ah, sige, mag na yung med school na lang ako kasi magbubukas pa lang nun yung Ateneo yeah, 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 yeah. And then, my mentor, um, while I was working uh, at the Ateneo, sa OSA, sa Office of Uh-oh. Student Activities, yeah, yeah. tinawagan ako ng mentor ko. And then, she said, alam mo, you might be interested to go into teaching. Tapos That's sabi cool. ko, pero ma'am, you know naman na I want to be a doctor, yeah, right, diba? Yeah. Bakit mo ako in-invite dito? Tapos sabi lang niya na, because I think you'll be a good teacher. And because she first believed, ayun, 14 years na. Mag-15 years na ako wow. this June sa public school. Yay! Wow. Round of applause naman. No. That is you know, cool. short gist of the story. Kasi oh, mahaba oh, oh, oh. yung story. That's, but that's, yeah. that's cool. That's cool. Yeah. So, but but did you, did you, like along the way, because I, I suppose you were, you, you took up bio, di ba? Bio. So there was a intention really to pursue uh, med- medicine, med right? So like somewhere along the way, did you ever think like, hmm, am I, am I in the right place? Or like, am, is this what yeah. is for yeah. me? Parang, well, you have, kasi ano yan eh, di ba? Ang, ang to- totoo daw na discernment na mimili ka between two good, good options. Mm-hmm. So ano yung, kung hindi ako mag-med, 
education. Mm. Parehong good options yon. Um, so, ang sabi ng spiritual director ko noon before, just think of three things. Ano ba yung passion mo? And when we say passion, hindi lang to yung hilig, ha? Uh-huh. Pero ano yung, ano yung life-giving for you? Yung pag mo, kahit mahirap, gusto mo pa rin that's, gawin. Nakakabuhay yeah, siya yeah, yeah. for you. So, that's passion. Um, and then I realized, oh, passion ko talaga being with kids. As in, kahit, oh, kahit okay. gaano kapagod, wow. pagkasama ko yung kids, buhay ako. Wow. Hindi ko na napapansin na may sakit ako. O, uh, hindi ko napapansin yung oras. Ganyan. Um, and then, yung pangalawa, sabi niya, think of your skills. Kasi hindi pwedeng passion lang, di ba? Right. Kailangan i-contribute mo yung skill mo. So, right. saan ka magaling? So, nung college um, ako, nag-volunteer na akong magturo sa mga public school students. Dun sa Alain Ignacio, there's an organization in Ateneo called Annie, yeah. Alain Ignacio. So, parang napapansin ko, natututo yung mga bata. So, nagugulat din ako. Yeah, parang, yeah, yeah. wait, I can be good at this. Ah. And then, na-awardan ako ng, be- ng favorite teacher, mga ganyan. Ah, sabi good. ko, okay, it's something I can work on. Yeah. And then third, sabi niya, ano yung pangangailangan ng mundo na hindi mo matatalikuran? Yung parang, parang kinatawag ka talaga, parang may sakit sa puso mo pag nakikita mo yung problemang uh-huh. ito. Tapos na-realize ko, grabe, education yun for me. Yung bakit, halimbawa, tayo, nakapag-aral tayo sa Ateneo, pero maraming hindi kaya makakuha ng good education. Mm-hmm. Bakit? Mm-hmm. Diba? Kung ang education ay isang right, mm-hmm. bakit, siya na, mm-hmm. bakit mahirap siyang makuha ng mga Pilipino. So parang ako ang sakit nun. So pag nag-combine daw yung passion, skill, and need, yung intersection nun, that's right. your vocation. And so I realized oh. it's not medicine. It was, it's really teaching. You found that when you were in college. Um, right. Mga af- so after volunteer after. work, yes. Ah. So, you, you, you know, it's crazy because when you were explaining it right now, I really yeah. felt like you were teaching me something. Yeah. So, <laughs> no, 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 Ten? More. Hundred? We have 20, around 28 million students wow. in the public schools. Wow. As in okay. basic education, meaning uh-huh. uh, kinder hanggang senior high school. Ha. Yun uh-huh. yung basic education. So, ibig sabihin, karamihan ng mga bata na Pilipino nasa public school, ibig sabihin din, uh-huh. karamihan ng Pilipinong nakaka-interact natin around us right. tumaan sa public school system. Right, mm-hmm. right. So, if we make a difference in the public school system. You're making, going to make a difference, diba? In the lives of many Filipinos. That is yun cool. Yung, yun, yung, yun yung halaga bakit kailangan natin pagtuunan ng pansin ng public school. Did, did, did that sort of move you? I love that. I love that vocation. Yeah, because uh-uh. you know what? That's a good, I mean, th- this is uh, sometimes some, some of the things we talk about. But like before, she, 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 she also parang said, oh, what if I become a teacher? Yeah, yeah. Oh, that was one of my thoughts. Oh, oh. Parang when, kasi sometimes, you know, we would uh, like just reflect. Naks reflect. Of course. We're, oh, uh, and the, like where we are now, what we're doing. Yeah. And then she was like, actually nga, before, parang pinag-isipan ko din yun eh. Oh, oh. Baka this podcast oh, no, is a no, no. sign. <laughs> oh, oh. Baka this podcast <laughs> is meant to teach. Yeah. Ayan. Or diba? make you think. Oh, oh. Diba? <laughs> yeah, but because you remember that one, ano, before, parang you joined that org. Yeah, it was uh, it was called Musmus and it was for kids as well. Diba? Actually, madami din kaming parang sabay um, mga NSTP natin. Yeah, yeah. Diba? We were teaching Actually, kids dami, there. Dami. Uh, ano, even well, when, when high school, diba? parang we had Tunong Dunong. I don't know if you guys are familiar with that. Um, Sateneo High. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sateneo, yeah, yeah. Dayan. Okay. Yeah. Walang ganun sa Pavera. I'm, oh my gosh! <laughs> but, <laughs> bakit ka ganyan? No, no, no. But yun, 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 yun. Kaya nga, parang, yeah. di ba? Parang it, it's a, uh, when, when you think about it, like like what Sab said is is, is true. Kasi sometimes when when they see or when, when these kids, uh, they come across what they feel like or what they perceive to be good teachers or, mm. you know, teachers that make an impact. Parang tutuwa sila eh, naikinig sila. So parang actually oh. kami nun, uh, it, it was part of our curriculum, di ba, in high school. Pero when we would go, parang ibang itsura nila, masaya sila eh. Aww. Diba? Saka ka influence talaga ng courses that you take. Yung mga mm. teachers, yeah, diba? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alimbawa yung friend natin, si Matt. 
Diba oh, talagang oh, ginusto niyang magdoktor noon dahil may magaling siyang science teacher. Nice. Oo, oh, oh, iba talaga yung impact. Iba, yeah. iba talaga iba, yung iba. impact. Iba talaga. Ikaw, eh, pero paano pa ning impact ng filo sa iyo? Jo, <laughs> <laughs> jo intense impact ng filo sa kanya. Masyadong na impact. <laughs> Oo, oh, hindi na tinuloy yung Natakot school. Tuloy. <laughs> <laughs> pero like now, uh, 'di ba, parang people will always say there's kids have certain learning styles. Oh, I, yeah. I hear that a lot. Right. Uh, especially now uh, a bunch of my um, friends have like children, diba? Mm. Para, oh, thing learning style ng anak ko eh. Oh, oh. I'm like, what does that even mean? Yeah. Um, well, actually, yung pinaka simpleng definition ng learning style, it's your preferred way of learning. So, pwedeng sabi nila, kung ginagawa mo daw yung learning style na to, mas effective daw matuto. Parang mm-hmm. ganon. So, yun yung pinaka-simpleng mm-hmm. way to explain learning style. And then, is there are, are there like technical learning styles? Or is is it really more like sobrang subjective na, oh, hindi, gusto kong matuto ng nakahiga or parang... <laughs> Marami, maraming theories ng learning style. Right. So mm-hmm. if you use your PLDT Wi-Fi to search and Google, mm-hmm. marami kang mahanap na theories on learning styles. Pero yung pinaka-common yeah. na lagi nating naririnig, ito yung apat, yung visual, auditory, reading or writing, and then kinesthetic. So V-A-R-K, VARK. Okay, VARK. Uh-oh. Kinesthetics? What? What, what's, what's kinesthetics? So... So, kinesthetic is movement. So, ah. so sabi nila, so, umpisa uh-huh. natin kay, sige, kines, dahil minensyo mo si kinesthetic. Yeah, because well, no, no. it's the first time I've, 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 I've yeah. heard this. Yeah, parang, yeah. di ba, eto, yung pag ginagamit mo yung kamay mo, mas natututo ka daw. Ah, Yun. kunyari, Ikaw ba like, yung type, play? yung tendency mo ba ay kailangan kinakalikot mo yung isang bagay or kailangan gumagalaw ka para mas maalala mo, mas matutunan mo. Ah, kaya pala nung nasa school, you would hold my hand to learn. <laughs> what? <laughs> diba? In class, you say, oh, what? <laughs> guys, huwag naman kayo mang inget. <laughs> kaya pala, kaya pala ganun. Yung ba yun? Yun ba yun? Parang hindi yata yun. <laughs> hindi, kailangan connected siya sa learning. Ah, okay. So, hindi okay. sa landi. Okay, Iba okay, yun. Okay, okay. Iba yung okay. ano, learning versus Dinabihan learning. Kasi ako eh. Oh. Oh. Tinabihan niya. You know, we were talking to Sab kanina. Uh, we met English Lit eh, which is like the the first class you'll ever take in Para college. Parang homeroom. Parang, it's not homeroom. It's it English like Lit. It feels like it. Yeah. Yan. Tapos tinabihan niya ako. Anong tinabihan ka? Diba? <laughs> Sabi Tas ko nga, pala, ingay, ingay na ito. Kinesthenics pa niya ako. Kinesthenics ka? <laughs> diba? <laughs> Kinesthetics, parang... Okay, nila lang gawin na ako dito, okay. guys. Okay, okay. Yung totoo, yung totoo. So, kinesthetics. Kinesthetic. Kinesthetic. Kinesthetic pala. Kinesthetic. Kinesthetic. Sample of this would be like, ano, parang molding stuff. Doing experiments. Stuff. Yes. Ah, experiments. Oh, oh. Ah, oh, yun. Parang very okay. practical. So, That's kunwari, cool. if you want to learn a practical thing, kailangan... Gawin, gawin mo. mo siya eh, di ba? Hindi mo pwedeng panoorin lang, tapos like, alam mo na. Like the, the science, diba? ano, barang let's oh. say you put stuff in the Bunsen burner. Yes. Oh. Or for Bunsen kids, di ba, younger burn. kids na para matuto sila, what is soft, you have to touch it. I yes. see. So yung nararamdaman, ginag- ginagal, gumagalaw yun. So yun yung kinesthetic. Kinesthetic. Okay. Kinesthetic. Pero feeling ko, okay. nabagkakumbayan right. nga yung love language yeah. spot, ano, episode kin- 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 with yeah. the learning style episode. Ang gulo then, nito. Ang gulo nito. Sorry, okay lang yun. Pero, VARC is like the, okay, the V is visual. visual. So I'm assuming yes. visual. visual. Na you like, parang for you, mas gusto mo nakikita mo. Okay. Um, so, eto mga pictures, images, you mm. learn, para sa sa'yo, you, you learn better when you see it, ganyan. Mm. Diba, demonstrations, right. ganyan. Tapos, yung auditory, which is, yes, listening. So, pag nakikinig ka sa lecture, okay yon or podcast, mm-hmm. diba? Yeah, yeah, um, natututo yeah, yeah. ka na, right, ganyan. Right. Tapos, yung reading, writing, minsan yung mga may ibang tao daw, na mas um, natututo sila kapag kailangan nilang basahin. Yung parang, hindi, wag muna sabi, babasahin ko muna. Or magno-notes mm. muna ako sa writing. Mm. Hey, that's you. Yeah, that's me. How, okay. how, how does... The, do people even know their preferred learning style? If you... Kayo, sige. Pag-isipan nyo, anong tendency mo? Mas, mas san ka ba nag towards? Are you more visual, auditory? Mm. Siguro, uh, kinesthetic. Reading, kinesthetic. <laughs> no, I can, no, um, As a lawyer, <laughs> kinesthetic. No, I... I, I <laughs> Diba? Oh, ano, Paano ano? mo? Pwede na memorize yung okay, case <laughs> number. I, I don't oh, know. Uh, okay. I, I think mine, my, mine is uh, auditory. 
probably sa yung auditory, yeah. he kind of just picks up on things he hears them. Tas mm-hmm. na alala niya na yun. Mm. Actually, parang no, you you were just saying it kanina, but to, to me, it's, it's an actual real life experience daily. Because mm. like I listen to podcasts like when I'm driving, and then parang I'm like, oh, did you know that? Oh. <laughs> Kano? And ginagano siya sa after. So bakang auditory yung akin. Probably. I don't need to to look at something to to try and absorb it. Yours would probably. I feel probably... like my, mine would be like a mix of a lot of things. Because honestly, Kau na. oh, because <laughs> pag practical, kunyari, uh, you have to learn an exercise. I feel like I need to try it, and then you tell me if it's correct, and then if it's correct, then great. But if it's wrong, and that I use my form, ko ganon. Actually, good points yung sinabi nyo. Kasi sa totoo lang, parang hindi naman talaga pwede mong ikahon yung mga tao sa learning mm. style. Okay, okay. So, meron talagang like actual exam you can take to learn, to know what your learning style is. But um, that's not how the brain works. So, tama kayo pareho. Like, for example, you were mentioning kanina na si Jack Lawyer siya eh. Mm-hmm. So, mas madali niyang, mas madalas niyang gamitin yung halimbawa reading, di ba? Yeah. O kaya, yeah. because you were always listening to podcasts in car drives or in car drives, yeah, yeah. mas mm-hmm. nag towards yeah, that ka. Yeah. But it doesn't mean that's your only way right. of learning. Okay. So, same ah. with Bea, di ba? Sabi niya kanina na, parang it's a mix of different things. Kasi, Depende rin sa subject matter. So, if it's more practical, kware, yeah. you're learning how to play a guitar. You can't just use visual or yeah, auditory. You have to true. use a dif- different kinesthetic din yun, auditory din yun, visual din yun, kasi kailangan mahita. Oh. So, it's it's actually a mix of different learning styles. So, ang ganda nung, nung, ano nyo, <laughs> nung, mm. nung but, points nyo. That's, ano, that's interesting. Because like, I, growing up, I, I don't feel as if like my parents took an effort. I mean, like, I'm happy with, with that ju- education they were able to provide for mm-hmm. me. Pero yung, I don't ever felt, I, I never felt that they tried to analyze what the best learning style is for me. Di yata uso yun nung time na. Is it before. something that that's being uh, more explored now by mm-hmm. by young, uh, parang younger parents or, or parents in this generation? Or, Actually, medyo matagal na rin to na lumabas. But I don't think kasi, ganun siya ka pinag-uusapan. Yeah. Mas pinag-uusapan siya sa education space. Oh, Actually, a okay. lot of teachers believe that we have to cater to different learning styles, no? Yeah. So, um, in-observe din, may time eh, na yun yung uso, parang mm. buzzword tong learning styles, no? Na, mm. uh, kailangan tignan ko kung majority ba ng learners ko ay visual. Mm. Yun. Pero, again, may marami na rin nag-debunk ng theory na to, ng VARC. Okay, um, kasi okay. nga, yun nga, um, may tendency tayo magkahon na ay visual kasi ako so pakita laging ganon yeah, 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 yeah. so nahihinder mo na rin yung sarili mo mm. to explore other learning styles no at even teachers kasi depende nga sa subject matter so science alam ko na dapat medyo experiential yan dapat yeah. visual so meron ng parang multimodal way of learning na mix na siya so, alimbawa ako ang bottom line lang what's effective Mm-mm. ano ba yung magtuturo at uh, ano yung magiging badali para sa bata makuha yung gusto mong ituro? Yun naman yung point. Mm-mm. Is this connected? Uh, I'm not really familiar kasi with when people say Montessori way of learning. Is that for, just for toddlers ba? Or is that for everybody? Well, mo- the Montessori approach, it's mm-hmm. an it's a learning approach then. So, um, my whole... Uh, ano yan, uh, philosophy of okay. how they teach then. So, ang maganda sa Montessori kasi, they're teaching kids how to be independent learners. Ah. So, what, what does that mean? Um, na kaya mong matutong mag-isa. Ganyan. So, nagbabasa sila on their own. May schedule sila, tapos susundan lang yun. They can choose ano yung gagawin nila certain times. Oh, yeah? Oo, pero guided, ganyan. Ah, so, guided. Oh, hindi ako, <laughs> ano, kala mo <laughs> free time? <laughs> hindi naman siya like, sobrang free time. Pero may, like, may guidance I naman. Out. I'm Uh-oh. not as familiar with the Montessori education. Pero yung mga pamangkin ko kasi, mm-hmm. nagmamontessori. So, Maganda din yung, ano, maganda din yung ganun kasi uh, they get to explore lang what they really, may autonomy yung kids, may voice I sila see. dun okay. sa learning. Yun yung at least yung nakita ko, ano. So, may iba-iba talagang, ano, um, ways of teaching yeah. and learning. Is so, this, is it this depends what they call the, ito yung, ito yung progressive? Yeah, so Montessori is um, part of the progressive, one of the progressive um, ideas, ideas of, ano, oh. hindi yata, philosophy ng, ano, ano okay. that, or that, approach. That, that's ganyan. super different. Like, uh, ours was so... 
Standard, um, I guess. Not standard. I, I'm not sure standard is the word, but ours is really structured. Like, okay, f- here, this is what you should do. The teacher will tell mm-hmm. you. Ganito, ganito, ganito. Yeah, o- o- autonomy. I don't think I we, don't we think had autonomy. Parang yeah. dinedictate lahat yung schedule, ano yeah. yung aarali. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Diba? Yeah, the Even the time. The, the time when it starts. Oh, then. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I was when late like a lot. <laughs> wow. <Yeah. laughs> nice to know. <laughs> but it doesn't mean it's not effective. Kasi, yeah, yeah, yeah. diba? So, definitely, parang there definitely. are... I mean, even naman siguro. So, it really depends on how you implement, no? Mm-mm. Teaching and learning. But but like, parang like you, for example, you, let, let's say, you teach, let's say, a group of 20, 30 students. And then, you said nga that learning styles is a concept more applicable in the teaching space. Mm-hmm. If you have like, let's say, 30 students and you're trying to determine the learning styles and some of them have different learning styles than others, how do you tackle a class then? Yun, kaya nga, <laughs> mahirap nga eh, na eh, hindi, hindi ka pwede mag-focus sa isang learning style lang. Mm-hmm. So, ang point ay, ako bilang teacher, iniisip ko, how do I activate their brains? Diba? How will my teaching be effective given na diverse sila? Mm-hmm. So, meron namang tinatawag na... Um, Ano to, may ginagawa yung mga teachers na ida-diversify nila yung activities nila. Mm-hmm. So for example, one group can, can halimbawa reporting, di ba pinag-report uh-huh. tayo school. Mm-hmm. One mm-hmm. group can do a song about earthquakes. And right, then the other right. one can write a poem about earthquakes. The other one, so may ganon, differentiated learning yung tawag doon. But ako, what I subscribe to para is what, I call whole brain teaching. Okay, Kasi what halimbawa, is that? yung brain mo, di ba, meron naman talagang visual area ng brain mo, may auditory, lahat yan nandyan. Okay. So the question is, how do you activate all of those para nagla-light up siya? Kasi the more active your brain is, the more you learn. Mm-mm. So yun yung lagi kong, um, at sobrang nerd ko, kasi nga bio major ako. So, <laughs> yeah. uh, favorite ko talaga yung neuroscience. Parang inaaral ko na, okay, how will I use my, what I learned in biology yeah. to and apply it? So, lagi akong evidence-based. I read research on cognitive science, in neuroscience and then sige let's do it in class so talaga yung mga strategies ko ano yan back by research yeah, and then yeah. by experience now so medyo ano um medyo isang malaking experiment din yung aking class ah, that's really cool well, yeah. what are the typical activities oh, you make your sample. students do uh, Songs I know, maybe, earth, maybe like a favorite. Earth, earth favorite. Uh, well, ano, nakaka... Ano, um, pag whole brain kasi, what you do, diba, lagi siyang may... So you teach muna. Uh-huh. Tapos you you make sure they're in chunks. So ang sa brain research, huwag mong kailangan mo lahat lahat tapusin mo yung buong lesson. Okay. Kasi diba ito yung traditional sa atin eh, yung common ay tatapusin lahat ng lesson about earthquakes, ganyan, yung buo. Pero sa whole brain teaching, each chunk mo siya, i-cut mo siya into small bits mm-hmm. kasi nakakahinga yung brain. Okay. So, eto munang section na ito yung tuturo mo. Tapos, kailangan tulungan ka nilang mag-isip ng actions. Mm-hmm. So, halimbawa, nung nagturo kami ng systems, okay, body systems, ah. tapos nagturo kami, tinuruan ko sila ng Arteries and veins. Okay. okay. Diba? So Tapos medyo, you're teaching science. Oo. Oh, oh, okay, nagtuturo okay. talaga ako ng science. So, mm-hmm. hindi ko muna tatapusin yung buong ano, um, blood vessels. Breakdown ko muna anong ginagawa ng artery. Mm-hmm. So, pag natapos na namin turo yung artery, mag-iisip sila ng action. So, ang artery is the blood vessel that leads... Um, the blood away from the heart. Away. Okay. Yun lang lagi. So kahit saan mo makita yung artery, laging palayo yung daan nun sa puso. So sabi namin, okay, kung away, anong action nun? So letter A, so sign language, yeah, letter A. A, and then naisip nung kids, ma'am, edi from the heart, as away from the heart. So uh-uh. sabihin nila, artery, away from the heart. Ganon. Tapos veins daw, back to the heart. Pero para lang maalala, back to the heart. <laughs> <laughs> so, in- in- inisip namin, ano yung connection? Kailangan gumawa ka ng connection. So, dahil naintindihan na nila from the diagrams, kailangan nilang gumawa ng action. So, ano nangyayari? Na-activate yung visual because they see it. Yeah. Na-activate yung because they hear it, yeah, they yeah, have yeah, to yeah. speak aloud while they're doing the actions. So, kinesthetic, visual, auditory, tapos nagsasalita pa sila. So, you combined everything? I combined everything. Tapos wow. walang space yung kid na mangulit. 
Kasi their hands are being used for learning. Wow. And then afterwards, I make them talk to each other. So what I call teach okay. So turuan nga kayo, ano yung artery, ano yung vein. So kailangan magawa niya yung actions, tas mabalik mo yung actions sa akin. Tas mag- so we are accountable um, sa learning ng bawat isa. Tapos, kasi ang tawag doon, retrieval practice, it's also research-based. Na if you're able to say or um, if you're able to recall and explain to what someone. you've learned, you've learned it talaga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, retrieval. Parang ganon. Recall. So, dahil na-explain sa at isa, uh, ano yung repetition yun, di ba? Mm. And then, I make them write their own notes. Sulat mo sa notebook mo, ano yung artery? So, away from the heart. Veins, back to the heart. Which is another form of retrieval practice. Mm, mm. Pero, ngayon, binubuo nila sa brain nila, how do I write this? So, Alam mo, at the end of the lesson, they, they get it. And kahit matapos yung quarter, they will remember. Kasi may repetition ka, may understanding ka, na-activate mo yung brain, and then may recall. So by the time na mag-exam, alam nung kids. Ah. You should have been my science teacher. Oh, I, <laughs> I do yung not brain, recall brain anything at all. I don't recall <laughs> anything at all. I like artery away from the heart. I was like, what? It's a good one. Meron ako pinuntahan na community. Tapos may mga kids doon. Nakalimutan nila yung left and right. Ano yung... Lagi silang nalito. Ah, nasa yung left nyo, nasa yung right nyo. So Uh-oh. sabi ko, okay. Gumanito kayo. Ay, sorry. Gumanito kayo. <laughs> okay. Ganyan. Nasa yung proper... Uh, paano mo sinusulat yung L? Eto L, ba? Yeah. Or eto? L. Eto. Yeah. So that's yeah. your left hand. Uh, Para maalala mo. Di ba? <laughs> si Jack, oh, okay. No, no, no. The, nice. All these things are about Parang this. clue siya. So, yeah. ganun. Parang that, help your brain. So it's not even visual lang. It's that not... That definitely was diba? not the way so, we were taught. Uh-uh. Kasi, I would have recalled, I guess, kung, kung ganun, di ba? So actually, with, like, with, with right. sign in, you know, you, you know how to do sign language. My, yung mga okay. letters yeah, are yeah. important, yeah. and that also teaches kids, ano eh, para like inclusion, di ba? Right, right. Na alam mo hindi lang Korean language yung interesting na aral. <laughs> yeah. You know, there's this thing called sign language, yeah. and then they appreciate it. So they know a bit of a sign of sign language because of um, mga actions. That's like cool. That. We we did that in high school. I told you about this, di ba? Parang uh, I'm not sure if this orgs yung tawag dun eh, but parang our, our, my, one of my orgs in high school was Usap Kamay and then we did it's a sign language. Yeah, sign language. Yeah. Oh, yeah. that's cool. It's, it's a beautiful language. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Diba? Oh. Apan ayaw niyo maniwala. I never believe stuff he says. You know, recently he told me na like badminton varsity siya. Tapos parang di ako makapaniwala. I have to ask his mother. I have to maniwala. I have to maniwala. Pero totoo Was he really part? <laughs> she was. <laughs> yeah. Oo naman daw. She, she doesn't believe anything I say. <laughs> Parang pag may sinasabi ako from, from my high school, whatever. Baka dapat na, yun yung next podcast na, episode niya. How to detect a man. Hindi siya naniniwala. Tapos parang may tinanong pa siya na teammate ko. Yeah, yeah. Eh, hindi kami close yung teammate ko na yun. Tapos na misspell niya yung nickname ko. So he was like, sabi niya, parang how could you misspell his nickname? You probably guys teammate. weren't teammates. Diba? So, <laughs> well, yeah. But anyway, let's take a break from all of that because she doesn't believe me. Okay, okay. Uh, let's play a game called Like comment or share. Ayan. Okay, explain naman kay teacher sab. Oh, ah, okay. explain mo kay teacher. Oh no, we have to <laughs> explain this visually. <laughs> Visual, tingnan natin. So in this game, we'll show you a series of social media posts wherein you need to react. Parang social media lang din. With a like, comment or share. You just choose one. Mm. And if you choose comment, of course, please let us know what your comment will be. Yun lang. Okay. Game? Okay. Game. Okay. Okay. Wala naman siyang choice. <laughs> <laughs> diba? Dito okay. tayo post number one kay Marcus Gong. Bong. <laughs> Understandings, uh, understanding one's preferred learning style is crucial. Mm-hmm. It may not be the primary factor but it greatly impacts effective learning. Learning through preferred modes, uh, methods enhances comprehension and retention, making the educational journey smoother and more enjoyable. Wow. Yan. Do we anong, give this? Anong reaction natin dyan? Uh-oh. Comment. Comment. Oh, comment. Uh-huh. Ayun na, ayun na. Ano ang comment natin? Ano ang comment niya? <laughs> Bilang edu- no, di, akin, um, hindi lang, siguro wag natin isipin yung learning style nga lang as visual, auditory, uh, reading, kinesthetic, ganyan. But really, what's your preferred way of learning? 
So, ano ba yung ano, ano ba yung ano ba yung effective para sa yo? Kasi hindi lang naman yan isang style. Yeah. Diba? Yeah. So, ako, yun, tama naman siya that um it it impacts how you learn. Um, it helps your comprehension and retention. So, katulad ng whole brain teaching, is yeah. a style mm-hmm. of learning. So, ayun, parang, and also ako, ano, read up on, on neuroscience and cognitive science. Parang Yan. sobrang interesting din niya. Makinig kayo. She knows what she's talking about. Yeah. <laughs> ano lang, love ko lang talaga yung brain. Oh my God, nerd. <laughs> did, 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 did you ever, I love it. Did you ever figure out like, what, parang how you learned and absorb things best? Me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm curious. I'm not really sure. Um, I used to like to write notes and Yon. just memorize it from there. But, parang I think if what what happens to you is like you memorize it, as you later on you'll forget it. Yeah, then, right? I think there's a problem with retention there uh-huh. for ano, because it's so ano lang eh memorization lang eh parang walang application. Pero you know, that's why I was like, I can do lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> Your face. Pero ano yun na parang it. Common naman yun sa ating lahat. Mm. So, hindi naman dahil nakakalimot ka, eh, yeah, yeah, yeah. eh di ba, weak na brain mo. But it's more, you have to kasi practice. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. pagka lagi mong ginagamit, mas tumitibay yung mm-hmm. yung memory mm-hmm. or mas na nalulubog siya dun sa long term. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So, baka you have no use for it lang. Kaya, Uh-oh. you forget. Parang ano, memorize, quiz, and it's out. Yes. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ito nga tayo. Okay. Ang, ang gulo mo. <laughs> Post number two. Parang Eto. sinasabi mo yung mga teachers yung hindi kinaturuan mo. Ayos <laughs> dati. No, but kasi si teacher sab. Oh. Ito, galing kay Mary Eunice Galleros. I am an audiovisual learner. Ooh, she knows. Of course, this is the learning technique that I have always found works best for me. Works best for me. I can completely interact with the content and I recall it more successfully when I can see and hear it at the same time. As a visual an auditory learner, one of the key advantages is the capacity to process information from several sources. I find that this learning approach helps me to completely engage with the information and improve my learning experience because I am a visual and auditory learner as well. Like, comment, or share. Comment kasi magdadagdag ako okay. na according to research, when your brain actually sees an image with a word, uh-huh. Um, it's more effective. Okay. It's also more effective It's an if it's an image and then somebody is talking about the image. So, parang it's really just how your brain works also. Yeah. So, um, uh, pero hindi daw i-recommend ng research na sabay. Mm. Na you're reading and then may, may nagsasabi. Uh-oh. And then you're, so parang it's, it's, one a lot of time. different, oh, yeah. parang so it's yun so ang tawag jan multimodal parang mas effective daw nga yon so kaya mapapansin mo sa mga mas bata may picture tos may word sa baba yeah, yeah, yeah. kasi that's effective mm. yeah. or minsan sa kindergarten rooms um meron silang kung wari, pinto tos may salita na nakalagay sa taas pinto yeah. Ganun. Ah, katabi ng picture. Oo. Importante yeah. din yon. Parang how near para the ma- word is to the actual image. Para ma-associate din. Oo. Mm-hmm. Mas na-associate. Uh-huh. At saka tingnan nyo, your brain kasi works in, ano eh, through pictures eh. Halimbawa, um, if you close your eyes, tapos sabihin ko, dog. Anong naiisip mo? Yung word na dog o yung picture image ng isang dog? Picture. Diba? Hindi mo maisip na dog, tas D-O-G yung lumalabas sa brain mo. Yes. Pictures talaga nag-work yung brain mo. So hal- halimbawa, si Mary Nice, diba? Mahilig siya sa, sa visual. Mm-hmm. Kasi parang nakakatulong talaga yon. So when you summarize using mind maps, when yeah. you um, draw, Uh-oh. tapos para maalala mo, that helps your brain remember. I'm just curious, like, Parang she was doing like a self-reflection or something when she posted that. I know. I, I love it. <laughs> Bakit sa- kaya niya sinabi, like, yeah. no? Oh. Yeah. Nakakatuwa. If, if you're watching this, could you just let me know? I'm curious. <laughs> <laughs> parang... Hi, Mary. Saan <laughs> 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 galing? There you go. Let's go with your hit. With the hit habits. Mm. I looked for the best tutorial or the best course until I figured that I learned faster when I applied my own learning style. Wow! <laughs> ano ang learning style ni Rohit? Do we give this a like, comment, or share? <laughs> ano ba tayo? Mago ba comment? Alam mo ito yung para yung mga atinistang gumagawa ng essay. Inikot lang yung thought niya. Na wala talaga siyang sinasabi. Sorry, bro. <laughs> Para 
feeling ko nagsulat na ako ng ganito nung high school. <laughs> Tapos tayo na lang yung mag, mag ano, oh. parang, ah, ano bang yung, oh, so, ano yung reflection na yung, 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 yung English teacher ko naman lang sabi niya, yeah, but what is the learning style, <laughs> di ba? Oh. Pero, siguro, kung ano natin, kung bibigyan natin siya ng kulugan, um, I guess yung motivation yung, yung sinasabi niya, na meron siyang, meron siyang choice dun mm-hmm. sa learning niya, yung ganon. And totoo yun, kasi yung research naman on intrinsic motivation, meaning, hindi mo kailangan ng reward, outside reward, para yeah, yeah. gustuhin mo yung gawin yung isang bagay. Okay. So yung intrinsic motivation ng isang tao, naka-hint siya on three things, mm-hmm. sabi ng research. Yung una, a sense of, um, parang no capacity, mm-hmm. na kaya mo to. Mm-hmm. And then second, a sense of autonomy na may choice ka. Mm. Na, oy, ito yung gusto kong way. Mm. Diba? So like what he's saying, mm. diba? And then the third one is a sense of belonging. At sobrang important nun na kapag hindi mo feel na safe yung environment, mm. na matututo ka, pinapagalitan ka lagi kung mali ka, yeah, ganyan, yeah, yeah. hindi mo makukuha yung motivation ng ikaw lang, na gusto mong matuto lang. So mm. in a way, parang si Rohit at hit habits, baka cool, yun yung no? sinasabi niya. Habits. Na, na parang di ko kailangan yung mga ano nila. Parang I want to discover my own style. Oo. Just okay. Ang galing. Ganun kasi yun. Ang galing. Kin- 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 Hinanapan niya ng ano. Oo, hinanapan niya ng ano. Hinanapan niya ng meaning. <laughs> okay, ito. Deborah Kate Ryan. Oh. Diversity. All caps. Of <laughs> learning style. Pero bakit may ellipse? <laughs> of learning style. <laughs> <laughs> ba? Wait for it, may ganun. Oh, <laughs> kailangan ano, with feelings. Siguro ano siya, oh, no, parang babe. parents Diversity! Na, parang oh. parents natin mag-text eh, no? Kumain oh. ka na ba? Dot, dot. <laughs> Sumasakit ulo Diversity ka, of learning, learning styles. styles. Respecting diversity is imperative to the learning process. Right. No one learns in the same way. Each student deserves to be taught in the learning style that is best suited for maximum learning potential. <laughs> In other words, individualized instruction at each student's level, pacing, and learning mode. Every student deserves individual, individualized learning. Modern education seeks to honor these individual learning differences. Diversity is progress. Diversity respects individualism. Man, how do we, how do we react to this? Wow, I'm like speechless. Like, comment, or share. Like na lang. <laughs> <laughs> Marami na siyang sinabi. Okay naman tayo dyan. Sige na so. po, Miss Debra. Oo. Okay, okay. May agree, agree, agree. May si Miss Debra. No, Debra. actually, but, but that, that, is, that is my question. Kasi diba, o oh, sabi niya, individualized learning. And I, I hear that a lot eh. Uh-oh. Parang when you, when you talk to, when I, yun nga, when I talk to my friends who have children, they're like, ay ha, yeah, parang ayoko na sa ganito. Where, 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 where we came from, blah, blah, kasi iba. Parang, but it's so ito, individualized learning. Is it literally individualized learning in the sense that in, in, you're in a classroom, but you're, you're trying to discover how um, student A should learn as opposed to la, how student B, C, D learns? For me, kasi, halimbawa, ako, nagtuturo ako sa public school, mm. which is more traditional talaga. Sa mm. progressive schools, mas kaya to. Okay. Diba, you, they allow nga yung time na uh, sila mamili, ano yeah, gagawin, yeah. etc. But for, kware, a public school, yeah. um, I need kasi to teach a group eh. Right. That's a certain the, time, yeah, yeah. a certain uh-huh. curriculum, ganyan, yeah. iba na fixed. Yeah. Um, I respect, so, this is how siguro I would respect individualism, pero yung individual progress. I don't, I cannot assume that a student or all of my students get it at the same time. Mm. Yeah. So what I observe are those struggling ones mm. and the best ones, which I can siguro prompt to help the struggling ones. Mm. So talagang ako nagmaman man ako. So whenever they do their actions, <laughs> di ba yung kanina, para yeah. artery veins, ganyan, I look around and see, Sino yung nagsastruggle? Uh-oh. Nasabihin yeah, yeah, to. Yeah, yeah, Pag yeah. nagtuturoan sila, umiikot ako, pinapahinggan ko, saan kayo nahihirapan? Mm-hmm. And then, yun yung, and, hindi, parang, it's okay to make mistakes. Ganun mm-hmm. sa klase. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it's okay when you're here, and then, dadali namin kayo doon. Ang goal namin talaga sa klase, lahat gagaling. Lahat gagaling. So, okay, yun, eh. kung, ang, kung mahina ka, uh-huh. gagaling ka. Pero uh-huh. kung magaling ka na, gagaling ka pa. Basta lahat tayo aangat. Yun yung goal. So, meron parang, Although it's lahat, my sense of, I need to take care of the yeah. individual right, also, right, right, the progress, right. para lahat talaga gumaling. So that's how you also manage yung diversity. Kasi you have to find out, nung nagsustruggle siya, ano yung best way yeah, approach ng students? Minsan, it's not even the learning style eh. Mm. It's confidence. Mm. It's growth mindset. Hindi naniniwala yung bata na kaya niya. 
Mm. Sobrang sakit nun, di ba? Na meron mm. akong kid na... Did, oh, uh, medyo, is that common in it's your... It's common. Oh. Na walang tiwala sa sarili. So, hindi nga na hindi magaling eh. Hindi lang siya naniniwala. So, meron akong kid na every time magkukwiz ako, ayaw niya mag-quiz. Ayaw niya mag-quiz. Hindi ko kumukuha ng papel, hindi nangihiram ng ballpen kung kailangan. Tapos, tinanong ko na siya parang ano bang problema. Tapos, hindi ma, wala, wala, wala. Tapos, sabi ko, alam mo, upuan natin. Tapos sabi niya, ma'am, kasi tingin ko, hindi ko kaya. Tinignan ko yung grades niya before. Grade 5, grade 4, lahat, line of 7. Bumag- umulit siya ng ilang grade levels, ganyan. Sabi ko, kaya naman pala. Tapos sabi ko, alam mo kuya, may papakita ako sa'yo. Papakita ko sa'yo, kaya mo. Pupuan natin. So tinuruan ko siya nung lesson. Tapos sabi ko, mag-quiz tayo ha, kasi kailangan mo ng, yeah. kailangan mo ng grade eh. Yeah, yeah. Tapos nung, ano, nung sinek namin yung quiz, naka 9 over 10 siya. Alam wow. mo yung, yung, ako hindi ko makakalimutan yung mukha nung kid, nung, Sinek niya yung sarili niyang papel, tapos tumingin siya sa akin, tapos parang, hindi siya makapaniwala. Aww. First time niyang pumasa. Wow. Tapos sabi ko, pero ikaw yan, nagtanong lang ako, ikaw yung sumagot niyan, ibig sabihin kaya mo. Yung ganun, hindi nga mahina siya. Yeah, hindi yeah, lang siya yeah. naniniwala sa sarili niya. So, yeah, parang, you have to also figure out as a teacher, or as a mother, or as a parent, diba? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nasa, saan yung hirap nung bata? Saan siya nagsustruggle? Hindi, it's not just about here eh, but it might be here also. Wow. But I can, I can only imagine the, the required, parang, I don't know the right word for it, but like, yung, the level that's required of you to observe and understand each of them. Because like, you're in a group and you have to try Go to, around, diba? Diba? Uh-huh. Yeah. Oh, that, yeah. that's tough, huh? Tough work. Oh, kaya mo ba yun? Hindi. Hindi <laughs> 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 teacher ka, you'll be trained eh. Yeah. As far as yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. teaching for 15 years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, naku- makukuha mo na rin talaga siya. Dito tayo kay post... Bakit sa'yo may ikle, babe? <laughs> <laughs> Sinadya yan ang production team natin. Wag mo na kunin, akin na nga yan eh. Diba? Oh, ito, ito. Oh. Galing post- kay... Kay Naksh. Naksh <laughs> naman. <laughs> gusto mo bang... Kaka- Hindi ko na. Sinatap mo Nakikin ba? Kasi gusto mo mag-Naksh naman. Oo. <laughs> Eto, distilling things down to its essence is the best way to learn. Anong reaction natin dyan? Like, comment, or share? Comment. Para dagdagan lang natin ng kaunti. Mm. Um, oo, kasi kung, kung kaya mong gawing mas simple daw... Mm mas mapapalali mo yung pagkakaintindi mo dun sa isang bagay. Mm. Hindi ito pamimilosopiya lang. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pero really, parang if you can explain things to yeah. a kid, yeah, kaya yeah. mo siya i-break down to a kid, ibig sabihin, kaya siya maitindi ng kahit sino. Kahit napaka-complex pa nung topic. So yes, distilling things down to its essence is the best way to learn. And I think also like the best way to to communicate, di ba? Sometimes yeah. when you try to say a lot of complicated things, di talaga nila matindi. Yeah. What is love? Charat. Oh. <laughs> oh, oh, what whoa. is its essence? <laughs> Try to simplify. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Gusto ko yung kanina, parang ano eh, no? Nag, 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 parang nagko-comment si Sab, tapos parang you're like, Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kasi nagka-Tagalog siya. Oh, hey! <laughs> Marunong po ako mag-Tagalog. So, ayan. Salamat, Sab, sa participate. Gusto ko yung nag-Tagalog siya. Alam mo, kaya kanina medyo tumatawa sa sabi mo. Yung nagsabi mo, nagmamanman ako sa ka, ah, she doesn't know what that means. <laughs> Kinocontext clues ko na lang. <laughs> sige, sige. Gawin mo nga ito. Oh, salamat, Teacher Sab, sa pag... What's participate? Paglahok. Paglahok sa aming laro. <laughs> <laughs> Dapat pati yung ano natin, yung intrusion natin, babe, Tagalog. Oo, oh, sige. Have oh, it all at home. Um, wag na. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Have it all at home with PLDG Home Fiber on the all 1799. Get everything you need now in one upgrade. Enjoy unlimited internet speeds of up to 200 Mbps that comes with a special entertainment bundle plus more exciting promos and giveaways monthly. Just visit pldthome.com slash fiber dash upgrade for more details. Now, let's go back. Let's go back to our uh, neuroscience discussion. Yes. Oh, kasi kanina, she mentioned um, guardians, parents. Kasi um, when it comes to teaching naman, it's not just in the classroom environment. Mm-hmm. Um, how can we, well, tayo, I don't really know, but how can parents or guardians recognize yung mga learning styles? Kunyari sa bahay, how to teach their kids better? Ako, based 
ano, based from my own experience, mm. kailangan mag, nag-enjoy din yung bata matuto sa bahay. Pero merong boundaries. So, mm. lalo na nung pandemic, ba diba, mm. Na hindi mo na alam. Kahit tayo nung pandemic, hindi yeah. mo alam kung, wait, workspace ko ba to? O personal space, wala na nag-merge. Wala. Na. Yeah. Pero sa kids, importante yung malinaw, saan siya dapat nag-aaral versus saan siya naglalaro. Because if it's the same, uh, malilito siya. Hindi niya ma-form yung habit, no? Parang ganyan. Importante sa bata ang consistency. Yon, Hindi lang pala sa bata, pati sa adults. Okay. Okay. <laughs> parang parang ako say. din. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> pag inconsistent ka sa relationship, medyo nakakalito yan. Ako confused, <laughs> di ba? Pero, pag, yan, sa, lalo na sa kids. Kasi May foundation na. May pinaliligan ka ba? <laughs> Wala. <laughs> Yun. Pero, um, so sa parents, ang, ang, ano ko, ang tip ko, um, make the home a safe learning environment as well. Mm. Dapat kayo magtanong ng bata sa'yo. Mm. Yung ganun. Kasi, kaya nga, iba-iba yung mga kids, di ba, ng learning styles. Pero kung hindi sila makapagtanong sa'yo, paano mo malalaman? Kung paano? Dapat nag-observe ka rin ng iyong anak, di ba, ng, ng inaalagaan mo na, ano ba yung, saan ba siya nag enjoy yeah. Di ba? Ganyan. Tapos, ako, um, eto talaga, sorry, short kwento lang. Kasi no, nung no, pandemic, no. Yeah. merong dinala sa aking kid na grade 3, uh, si Amanda. So, cute, very cute girl. Pero dinala siya sa akin kasi ayaw niya nang pumasok. Oh. As in, start pa lang ng school year, ah, ganyan. Tapos sabi ko, bakit? May nang bully ba sa'yo? May nang away ba yeah. sa'yo? Wala naman daw. Pero alam mo kung saan siya takot? Takot siya sa science, takot siya sa math, takot siyang matuto. Hindi daw niya masabi yung panatang makabayan nung unang, ano, week nila ng klase, natakot siya mapagalitan. So, ayaw niya na pumasok. Tapos, nung, nung hinukay ko further, ano bang nangyayari, yung mom niya pala nung pandemic, lagi siyang pinapagalitan while answering the mojo. So, for two years, nagagalit si mom kapag may mali, mm-hmm. pag hindi naintindihan. So, ngayon, onting bagay lang na, ano, dapat niyang matutunan, pero hindi, hindi niya, niya masabi, na takot na takot na siya. Uh-oh. Tapos, ayaw niya nang matutus... At to the point na ayaw niyang pumasok, ha? Oh, that's, that's sad. So, ako, grabe. So, ang laki ng effect po, no, na parang ako minsan pagkatakot yung bata matuto kasi nahihiya siyang magkamali. Ang tanong ko, sino nagturo sa bata to na mali ang magkamali? ba Kasi hmm. dapat, bilang kids, okay lang dapat magkamali, eh. Yeah. Kasi it's part of learning. Pero kung tinuro sa'yo na mali, tapos natatakot ka na tuloy magkamali, that's not a healthy learning environment. Right. That's not even healthy as a human being. Right. Natakot right. kang right. magkamali. Yes. Right. Right. So, yun, parang ako, parents, just make sure na you, the, the kid, f- ano, feel safe. To yeah. ask, to learn, di ba? Huwag yung pagalitan palagi kapag hindi nakukuha. Be more patient kasi hindi naman nila kagad yan. Bata pa yan eh. Di ba? Mm-hmm. Marami pa siyang matututuhan, di ba? There, there, but that, I think, just just taking off from that, I think that is very common. I I feel as though some there are some settings where you can get the impression na bawal magkamali. Di ba? Yeah. Even at home. Diba? Lalo na kung mataas yung pressure, diba? Lalo na pag-performing Mm-mm. yung bata. Mm. So, meron pa ngang studies na the more na performing yung bata, the more na decline yung motivation nila to learn. Bakit? Pressure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Parang the the fear of failing. failing. Yeah. Diba? Did, didn't you tell me before you, you also had you parang some kind of feeling like that? Yeah. Parang takot na takot Uh-oh. ka. I feel like, for me personally, sobrang nag siya. Kasi, grade school. Sobrang baba ng grade school. <laughs> like, I, I really wouldn't study. I'm like, ah, whatever. Not surprised. Uh, wow. And then one day, parang I had a really bad report card. Like, really bad. Apat yung F ko. <laughs> so, I was like, oh! Sakit! <laughs> Tapos after that, sobrang OA naman yung... Parang I really tried to outperform this. And then when it got to college, parang I didn't wanna... Like, yeah, I think it was the fear of failing now because I was doing so well. I didn't want to go back to my 4F era. So, medyo may pressure talaga siya, I think. 
but it also gave you a sense kasi of accomplishment na kaya mo eh. Mm-mm. Yun lang yun eh. Kailangan mong patunayan sa sarili yeah. mo that you can do it. Mm-mm. And for every kid, that's that's really important. That they have a taste of success. Mm-mm. Yun, if for the kid na kinukwento ko kanina na first time maka nine, first time makapasa sa quiz, yeah, cool. diba? Uh-oh. Parang that's, ano eh, parang core memory yun eh. Uh-oh. And dadalin mo yun for you to accomplish other stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, I, I don't know, like, like yours but me I don't know maybe my <clears throat> my parents were conditioned that I didn't study a lot so nung law school my mom was just telling me sige okay lang basta pumasa ka <laughs> <laughs> wala, 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 wala expectations oh. <laughs> pumasa pumasa ka lang parang yeah. ganyan but, so yun parang no pressure naman mm-hmm. na, diba mm-hmm. but no pressure lang are there are there like um study hacks or study tips that you think um parents or guardians should look into? Yeah, I know. Very practical ones, actually. Because you have to create that space. Nga. So no matter how small your space is, lalo nung, nung pandemic, yung mga kids ko, kasi talagang walang tables. Oh, <laughs> may corner lang. Ganun. Meron silang, nah, may picture kami na pinadala nung mom na, alam mo yung lalagyan ng biskwit na marami, mm. uh-huh. na bucket, yeah. yun yung table. Kasi wala nga silang yeah, yeah, table, yeah, yeah, tabi-tabi yeah. sila. So it was really hard to, I know, no, um, to create that space. And alam mo, yun yung siguro masakit as a teacher nung pandemic. Kasi, imbis na grade mo kung ano yung kakayahan talaga nila, nag-grade mo yung konteksto nila. Mm. Hindi talaga yung, di ba, nag-grade mo kung anong meron sila sa bahay na hindi mo sinasadya kasi kung meron silang internet, nakakapasok sila online, yeah. nakaka, di ba, yeah, yeah, nakaka-attend yeah. ng klase, natututo. So, uh. nag-grade mo ng maayos. Pero kung wala, wala ka rin mag-grade. Yeah, so, yeah. sakit, no? Pero, yan yung karamihan, yan yung konteksto ng karamihan ng mga Pilipino, di ba? So, siguro yung, yung tip ko lang, no? Kung talagang mahalaga yung pag-aaral ng mga anak nyo, make sure lang to create that space. So, um, kahit maliit na corner, basta dun lang siya lagi nag-aaral. Pero make sure that corner is well-lighted, may ilaw siya, yeah. yung, nandun yung notebook niya. Tapos, um, sabi ni James Clear sa ano, Atomic Habits, hindi importante yung goal. Importante yung system ang gagawin mo sa sarili mo to reach that goal. Kasi mm-hmm. if the system works, then you'll be able to reach that goal, di ba? If it's, the system doesn't work, wala nang, hindi, hindi mo na ma-release yung goal. Yeah, so, yeah. Yeah. hindi yun yung yung dapat mo i-focus, i-focus mo yung ano itatayo mo sa paligid mo to make it work for you. Mm-hmm. So, alimbawa, hindi nagigising yung anak mo ng maaga para pumasok. Ano ang hihahanda mo para sa anak mo para mabilis na lang siyang magising? Ilili- maliligo na ba siya the night before? Dapat yeah. yung uniform ba niya? Dapat nandyan na yung sapatos niya pagbaba ng paa niya, nandun na yung shoes niya para makatulong na, alam mo yun, push na yun, push yeah. na yun sa kanya. Uh-huh. Diba? So, in this, th- that's the same thing for learning. Mm-hmm. Diba? Yung fee- favorite cool. notebook ba niya at ballpen niya yung nandun para maengganyo sa magsulat ng notes niya at aralin, di ba? Ang mahalaga rin yung time. Dapat regular yung time. Consistent nga eh. So, pag uwi ba niya, matutulog ba muna siya bago siya maglaro? O matutulog muna siya bago siya maggawa ng assignment, saka siya maglalaro. Pero dapat consistent yung oras na yun. So, if it's 2 uh, o'clock to 3 o'clock, dapat always 2 o'clock to 3 o'clock. Ganon. Ganon ka dapat ka-firm. Wow. Hindi, sa ba- ano, hindi sa bawal maglaro, ah. Right, right. Pwede maglaro. The ske- but the scheduling May also. schedule yeah. dapat. Yeah. Pwede mag-phone, pero may schedule dapat. Ganon. Para hindi kayo nag aaway ng anak mo. Alam niyo yung gagawin niya. Mm. Pag nasanay na siya doon, di ba? So, less emotional ano din. Kasi make sure, yun nga, yung emotional thing that is um parang experienced by your, your daughter, your son, mm-hmm. really important. If there's scared. They mm-hmm. wouldn't learn if it's fun. Diba? So, ano, pwede mo i-gamify ang learning at home. Diba? Marami sa internet, you can search for, you can use your PLDT Wi-Fi to search <laughs> yes. for um, different strategies. Diba? Uh, print kang template ng schedule yeah. niya. Lagay mo dun sa study area niya. Print kang um, goal niya. Ano yung goal niya? Mm-hmm. Gusto ba niya maging engineer? Print a uh, picture EAI mo kung gusto mo picture niya yeah. na naka-engineer outfit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It helps kasi those things. And then ako, yung, yung practical note din na tabihan mo, mm-hmm. parang tutukan mo, nandun ka, mahalaga yung presensya mo. Kasi bonding mo na rin yun, di ba? Yeah, With your, yeah. um, your son or your daughter. Yun. So yung maganda. So there, there has to be like, really an effort 
to create the conducive space for yes. for learning and absorbing all these things, diba? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And you know, making a good, parang nice home for for learning. Diba? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Galing. Oh. Kasi, I, I, I'm curious, parang what I've heard sometimes people would tell me like, oh, mga study hacks you listen to, like let's say classical music. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Does, does that help? Yes, I, I, I never, yes. Really? Pero, I never pero depende rin. Parang minsan gusto mo talaga tahimik. Kung, mm-hmm. are, kung magsusulat ako, gusto ko talaga super tahimik. So depende rin talaga sa'yo. Pero pag nagbabasa ako, tas gusto ko lang relax. Uh, music, ganyan. Mm-hmm. Pero hindi pwedeng, yun nga, dapat sa mga magulang nakapatay yung TV pag nag-aaral yung anak Ay, nyo. Yeah. So uh-huh. kayo din. Kasi baka one room lang kayo, nanonood ka ng TV, <laughs> gumagawa ng homework yung anak mo, hindi, kailangan mo rin Bumis mag-sacrifice sa bit talaga. <laughs> <laughs> Oo, oh, oh, kasi ano, teleserye ko na eh. Oh, diba? na. Ito na yung K-drama. Pinam- <laughs> so, hindi, mahalaga yon na ikaw din. Sundan mo yung schedule nung anak mo. Mm. Kasi pag nag-break ka dun, wala na. Yeah. Mm, diba? So parents, guardians, take down notes. I'm, I'm just ano, curious kasi like, I, I heard about that classical music thing. Parang, I don't know if that's like an accidental discovery for me. But when I was pra- preparing for the bar, I listened to like three songs over and over again the entire time I was studying. I don't even know what songs they are. Like they're parang uh, instrumental from from YouTube that I just kind of like screen recorded or something. Ganyan. Tapos pag naririnig ko siya, even up, up until now, parang naalala ko kung ano yung binasa ko. Oh, memorize mo oh. possible ko. I-test mo, i-test mo, Bea. Okay, let's try natin. Hindi, hindi. So, so, yun. Parang hindi ko alam kung, kung that, that has, like, it's, it's a hack or it's a tip or... Baka, it, it's a learning style for you. Maybe. I don't know. Right? I don't know. Actually, diba? mas yung effect sa'yo niya sa memory mo. Mm-mm. Maybe. Parang may association. Yeah. Of the, parang s- certain smells, uh, ano din, diba? Uh, it has an effect on you. Yeah. If you smell something like tapos it triggers a memory yeah, inside yeah. yeah maybe so, maybe i should record pala kung mga utos mo no para wow. <laughs> na alala ko lang na alala ko lang dagi eh. <laughs> diba pero yun nga also diba syempre we're trying to address like um learning styles while during school diba and and how they how, how children and how your students absorb what you're teaching them does that also have a benefit from when, uh, for when they graduate or for when they move to the real world? Tayo, learning. Hmm. Kasi lifelong learning, learners naman talaga tayo dapat. Yeah. Parang your brain doesn't stop learning just because it gets older. Mm-hmm. Actually, yung tawag doon, neuroplasticity. So your brain continuously learns. No, Even as an adult or even pag senior ka na, you can learn new things. Yun yung magical about the brain and yun yung power niya. No? At the more nga you learn, the more na, the more you use it, the more na it doesn't degenerate. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, mas yeah. mahalaga pa nga pag older ka eh. So, para sa atin, ganun, mas busy lang kasi yung brains natin. Diba? Mm. Mas marami tayong iniisip. Mas yeah. marami din tayong emotions. Mm. Um, pero, supposedly, mas alam din natin irregulate ang mga bagay na ito, no? Um, importante yun eh, kasi ang emotional regulation, handling big emotions, it affects how you learn. So, halimbawa, hindi ka makafocus sa work. Bakit? Kasi yung bigat nung nangyari sa bahay, mm-hmm. di ba? So, tayo, mas reflective din tayo as adults na kung, kung, kung nasan tayo, kung ano. So, gamitin nyo yung self-reflection na yon yung kapa- capability na yon as adults to figure out, no, how do you really want to learn stuff? ba Tapos, dapat curious ka pa rin. You ask a lot of questions um, para you never stop learning. So, tas yun din. Siguro, as adults, marami din kasi tayo na experience na failures. Mm. So, dapat mas sanay na rin tayo na, ano, uh, to pick ourselves up from uh, from our mistakes, di ba? Uh, na hindi tayo dapat takot sa feedback. Yun naman, eh, nagta-transition lang yung teaching uh, in different forms na. Hindi na siya teacher lang. Yeah. You learn from quite making mistakes. Ah, yung, yung pinasa kong report, ayo ni boss. So, your uh-huh. boss now becomes your teacher. So, it's a matter of looking around you. Sino na ba yung mga teachers ko ngayon? Mm-hmm. Diba? Hindi lang siya tao. It can be experiences. Diba? Ay, mali pala when I uh, turned right. Even yung navigating the world <laughs> yeah, eh. Diba? Yeah, 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 when, yeah. when I use pala, mas okay pala sa akin si, uh, si mapa pa rin kaysa uh-huh. sa... Yeah, yeah, ano? yeah. Diba? So, yun. Parang even the use of 
AI, so many uh, technologies nowadays na nag-come up. How did you learn those? I mean, how did you learn how to do TikToks? Diba? I mean, if, if you really want it, you can learn. So, kung ano naman yung... It's like also muscle memory of how you learn from your childhood. Mahalaga din yun kasi na-practice ka na. Kuhari, math. Mm-hmm. Means it doesn't make sense, di ba? Yeah. Baksa ko magagamitin to. Pero the discipline of doing math, that's what you use, di ba? May perspective ka ng, wait, I can, ano, compute. Kasi yeah, yeah. you learn this from, ano. So, yun. Interesting. That's a, uh, th- I, I like that. You, I like that thought. Like you never stop learning. And I think that that's also important for for us. Like you, you sometimes you you tell me that that's that's your concern, diba? Like you you want to keep your, you know. Yeah, uh, I have like um mental games on my <laughs> cell phone. <laughs> Yung parang every day my challenge. <laughs> Yung ano, my, my math show, my English. Nice. <laughs> so uh, I was like, nice. Ba, sudoku lang ako. Ah. So parang I guess. It's not just that naman eh. It's not just the academic sabi nga ni teacher sab. Even our work can be teachers. Who's, uh, do, you, you, do you have like in mind, like if I, if I ask you now, it's like a favorite teacher some or mm. like, a, like a person that has Ngayon? taught you. Or, or no, as just teacher, a, as a teacher. That, that has taught you something that, you know, just made an impact. Ako, hindi to... Medyo cheesy to. Pero no, yung okay. best teachers ko, students ko. Wow. As in, parang when I observe them, minsan kinikilig ako kasi uwi, natututo ako while teaching them. Yeah. Sobrang weird, no? At the same time, so nangyari, I was teaching them. Tapos pero parang may sinabi siya na parang, oh my God, ang galing nito. Oh. Ganon. So, parang may time na, halimbawa, umiikot ako looking uh-huh. at them nung nagtiteach sila sa isa't isa. Tapos parang, oh, wait, maybe I can try questioning this way. So, magtatanong ako. And then, nag-work? So ko, oh my god, sige, I'll try it to another kid. Tapos nag-work ulit siya. So parang ako, dami ng dami tinuturo sa akin ng kids. Um, so it makes me a better person, a better teacher. Um, but also parang important for us to also learn to take care of ourselves. Part mm-hmm. of learning is actually making your brain breathe. Okay. So dapat hindi ka laging work, work, work lang. Importante to ha. So akala natin wala siyang connection dun sa parang efficiency natin, yeah, productivity yeah, yeah, natin. Yeah. But it does have an impact getting enough sleep. ba? As an adult, ito na yung kulang na tayo ng tulog kasi nasa stress tayo. Yeah. Parang um, actually your body needs to rest, ba? So yung mga R&R going for trips or travels, yeah. ganyan. Or doing something na hindi work, importante mm-hmm. yun. So halimbawa, ako every year, I try to learn a new skill na walang kinalaman sa teaching. So this this year, I learned ballet. Wow. Uh, last year, actually started. Ganyan. The, the, there was a year I wanted to learn ukulele. So I, now I know how to play ukulele. Parang ganyan. So, oh, this year I want to enroll myself sa voice lessons. Wow. <laughs> Try lang, di ba? Ganun. Invite nyo kami sa concert. Ha? Oh my God. Oh. <laughs> Tayo pa. Take a play siya. <laughs> Sama sa ukulele. Habang <laughs> nag-ballet, tapos kumakanta oh, pa. Oo, oh, oh, nag-violin din ako. Yung parang ano bang gusto mong, what, para exciting lagi. Parang, ah, what I like you that. Learn, yeah. That's nice. Oh, you should do that. Oh, what do you want to learn together? Me? Oh, oh. Uh, oh, learn together. I don't know. Learn together. Uh, We've always said we wanted to take some, parang lessons for like Japanese or Chinese. Yeah, language languages. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Parang I think languages. There, there. I used to be able to speak, kasi like Mandarin, but I mm-hmm. didn't practice it a lot, and now. I, Parang nawala siya at all. Rusty na. Oh. Not, not even rusty. Parang in, it's wala na. totally wala na not there. Wala na siya kasi kausap. Yeah. Sorry, wala akong alam. Yeah, so. so <laughs> parang yun. Like la- learning languages, I think, is something mm. that we want to look into. Oh, Maybe we na. should. Ito na. Ito na. It's a diba? sign. It's a this sign. podcast. Accountability. Yeah. Accountability. Watching it one year from now, you should be able to speak oh. Mandarin. Okay, kahit ah. basics lang. Yeah. Oh, oh. You can say PLDT1799 Mandarin. <laughs> Pero ito, like, you know, I, I could, you know, just talking to you, uh, I, I feel the the purpose, the advocacy. You, how do you think, um, you know, our, our Philippine education system matches what you believe in? And do you think parang it can catch up to all the styles that you've been advocating also? 
Napakahirap na. O nga eh. <laughs> Ang lalim ng wait lang, hukayin ko muna yung yeah, 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 kasi yeah, deep. Hindi, no. pero, um, I'm good it. question. Actually, good question. Um, no, I think, uh, malayo pa yung tatakbuhin mm. no, ng, ng Philippine education system. Lalo na sa public school. Mm. Ako, ang concern ko lang talaga, I need to focus on my students. Right. Diba? Basta masabi nila na, ma'am, kaya ko na, galing ko na. Alam ko, nagawa ko yung trabaho ko. Mm-mm. Ayoko nga marinig na, ma'am, ang galing mo, ang galing mo magturo. Kasi, pagtuturo, hindi yan tungkol sa amin, sa atin, diba? As teachers. Pero tungkol yan dun sa bata. So, um, hindi pa ganun yung system eh. Hindi siya tumitingin pa masyado dun sa kids. Mm-hmm. Hindi siya pa as student-centered as we would like it to be. Uh, so, ito, learning styles is just one component of the things that we need to think about and, and improve in terms of, oh, oh, of the education system. So many. And I'm really worried for the next generation kasi ang daming, ang daming nangyayari, ang daming kailangan ayusin. How, how, uh, do, you, how do you think that, um, how do you feel like we can, what, what the, we should do to, to be able to progress in that area? Ano to eh, um, ang the, the tricky thing about a large-scale system, mm. ang dami niyang gears. Right. So there's a component of health and nutrition. You know that isa tayo sa buong mundo na maraming malnourished children in schools. Yes, mm. yes. Diba? Zero to five. Yes. Uh, ano sila, ang tawag sa kanila, severely wasted. Mm. And hindi daw yan naayos. Parang once pinanganak sila, tas hindi sila, hindi na nag-develop yung brain nila. I, ano na siya? it's really hard to recover from that. Mm. Diba? So, we have to focus on beginning years pa lang. So, health and nutrition and mental health, etc. Dapat may tumututok doon. Diba? Meron kang aspeto ng um, ano to, social justice and safety and protection ng kids. Mm. Maraming kids are bullied. Diba? Maraming kids abused. Uh, sino tumututok doon? Hindi siya pwedeng, kung pagtuturo lang, Mm-mm. okay lang. I mean, yeah. kaya ko magturo lang. Mm-hmm. Pero yeah. kung ang pumapasok yung estudyante ko, dala lahat ng iba yung problema na to. Yung ang hirap di sila makakain, walang mm-hmm. trabaho yung magulang na. So the economic thing, jobs. Right. Diba? Job security. Naka-impact na. Kasi pag naghahanap sila ng jobs, sinong nag-absent yung estudyante ko? Pag mm-hmm. naghahanap ng, ng job yung magulang niya, kasi walang magbabantay sa mga kapatid. Yeah. So wala na naman siya sa school. Yeah. Nakapekto siya sa access. So all of these things, hindi pwedeng teacher schools lang, DepEd lang yung sumasagot. It has to be a whole community yeah. talaga. So, halimbawa, ang question ko sa ibang mga tao, kahit hindi education ang space mo, how can you contribute to this? How can you help address the context of a family, of a Filipino family? Because if you fix that, then yung mga sojante namin, okay din. Diba? So, kabit-kabit siya. And there has to be a collective effort from a lot of areas, diba? Mm-mm. Yes. Wow. Ikaw, ano sabi mo ako dun? Ikaw, uh, how do you... Hirapan <laughs> <laughs> ako. How do you contribute? Oh, mapapaisap na lahat ng ating mga viewers. Listeners. listeners. Yeah. How, how will you guys contribute, di ba? Oo. Yeah. Diba? Siguro as a parent, mm-hmm. importante yun. So mga parents na nakikinig sa atin, di ba? Na you make sure na you take care of your kids. That's the best way that you can. Alam ko minsan mahirap talagang buhay. Pero buhos mo lang kasi ito yung future nyo eh. Future mm-hmm. ng pamilya nyo, di ba? Yung bata. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, yun. Sige lang. Parang mahirap sa ngayon. Pero hindi naman sana mahirap forever. Yeah. Yung ganun. Yeah. Invest siya. It's a risk, di ba? Tapos ano din, kaming, even kaming mga teachers eh, every year nagtataya kami sa bawat bata. Minsan nabibigo kami. But you will never stop. Di ba? Ano? Risking. Uh, yan. So, tuloy lang. Tuloy lang. Pero, wag tayo, wag niyong sabihin, ako, ayoko na narinig sa Pilipino na ganito naman palagi eh. Mm. Okay na to eh. Yeah. Hindi pwede. wag mong sabihin yun kasi wala pa tayo sa okay. Yes. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, laban. Tuloy. Yeah, yeah. Pagandahin natin yung buhay. Di ba? Yeah. Ng bawat isa. So. I like that. Mm-mm. I like that. Mm-mm. And I, parang feeling ko that's a nice, impactful way to reach out and, you know, uh, make your audience think. So everyone's like listening right now, diba? How do you contribute? Oh, kahit little things muna. Yeah. Start from your home and maybe you can check out the NGOs as well. Or, yeah. Yeah. 
di ba? Mm-hmm. Pero you know what? We're now because because we're we're talking about all these uh, thought provoking things. Mm-hmm. I think it's like high time to check if you guys have a quote of the day. <laughs> di ba? Para ito yung may iwan natin sa mga naikinig, sa mga nanunood. Um, during our conversation today, um, was there any uh, thought, any uh, anything said that that tumatak sa'yo? Di ba? Na parang you would wanna, I guess, post on social media yeah. as maybe your status. I don't know. Di ba? <laughs> Ganun yan eh. Actually, uh-uh. that's the point of uh-uh. quote of the day. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. Right? Yeah. So, we'll start with Bea. Okay. <laughs> Yes, yes, yes. I saw Sam looking at me. She was like, don't stop. Her face is like, teacher, look yun, teacher, no, look yun. Her face is like, don't I'm you dare start yes. with me. No, I like, I, 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 I like to pick up on stuff. I think I'm able to, to pick up on stuff quickly. Yeah. Ay, accept ko naman na lagi akong una dito. Um, my favorite, and I would post a video or a tweet of like the artery away from heart and <laughs> Vein back to your heart. <laughs> that's my favorite part because I, you know that that's a that's like a science fact that I just learned today or like I just remember today and I don't think I'll ever forget it. Diba? Ever. Diba? Galing eh. Oh, yun yung fun. Yes. Oh, dapat meron tayong serious. Wow, dalawa. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. 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 Peace. You're, you're, you're <laughs> dalawa. A student. Eh, yeah, I, ano tayo? Yo. Dagdagan. Bonus, bonus point. Bonus section. For a section. If you're not being graded bonus here. Points, bonus points. Bonus points. Hindi mo ito kailangan. But ha? in English. <laughs> um, this one I liked also. The fact that she said that um there should be a safe space to learn. Always. And I think this applies not just, you know, at home, at school. I think everywhere to learn um, how to do anything, basically, without being made fun of or, you know, um, being judged. Saan ang gagaling yun? Who knows? But yes, I believe that is very important. Yes. Ikaw. What? Galing naman. 9 Aww. over 10. Aww. Paano Nine maging 10? 9 over 10. Paano maging 10? Mm, pag Tagalog. <laughs> if you're able to deliver it. No, uh, me? Ah, th- th- there were so many... Mm. There were so many good things that, that were discussed today. But uh, m- mine is like two, I think. Like the first one is... And this is personal to me. Na parang even at this stage you don't stop learning and then yeah. you, you try to learn something new every day because like sometimes I and, and that particular thought resonated with me because parang when I look at my younger sisters who are still in school I'm like ah, I can't imagine like being in school again <laughs> and then trying to learn all these things diba tapos mas mahaba pa yung uh, what a K to 12 now mm. diba the time to turn school but then I might be forgetting that I'm actually learning something new still. Yeah. Even as I'm working in an mm. environment where I'm, even as I'm already part of the system, di ba? Uh-oh. Yun. And then the the second one, syempre, dalawa ka, dalawa din yung akin. Hindi tayo papatalo. Teacher sab, dalawa din Honor dapat. Honor students. Hindi tayo papatalo. Hindi tayo papatalo. Pwede kami. Hindi, tatlohin kayo akin. Oh no! No, but but the other one is yung ano, because I asked the question, di ba, parang how how we move forward. It's not just about the yun nga, the mm, educational yeah. system. Um, there's a whole lot of social justice involved. And, and that to me, um, I relate to that a lot. Because also in, in my field, diba, parang there's a lot of injustice that's, that people like, go through. And injustice to me um, comes in many different forms. It's not necessarily, you know, being in front of a court and losing a case even if you think you're right, blah, blah. But... Injustice as in parang, diba, it, ito yung hindi ka tinutulungan ng gobyerno or parang hindi mo nakukuha yung dapat na nakukuha mo. Mm-mm. Parang ganun din. So, yun yung, yung sinabi mo rin kasi kanina, o pangatlo na. Ito yung sinabi mo rin kanina, I think yung, um, if you're not able to develop, let's say, or you're, you're severely malnourished at an early age, oh, yeah. that I your brain won't even uh, cope up. Mm-hmm. I didn't even know that. Yeah. So that to me, that that like, parang ano yung sa mga filo that struck you. Yeah. Oh, de ba? Parang de na pa isip ako don. Irreversible yung damage. Ah uh-uh, ah, irreversible yung damage. Yeah. Yeah. Yun 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 y
Oh, bakit three tatlo things. yung sayo? Dagdagan ko chuka. <laughs> <laughs> Dagdagan ko maglayo sa akin. Warp. Oh, isa pa. Para ano? apat. Uh, uh, sige, ano? Uh, whole brain learning. Oh, okay. yeah. <laughs> She's just like spitting out like all these terms, man. <laughs> No, no uh, but, but for you, uh, yes. is, there, is there anything that, that uh, you'd want to maybe, I don't know, tweet about? Ako, siguro, I'll, I'll create another quote. Hindi naman ganun. Yeah. Pero parang, just to add lang, um, reflecting on what you've also shared, yeah. you got from this conversation, I really think that, you know, learning can transform society. Diba? Uh, Turuan natin yung mga Pilipinong mag-isip. Mm, mm, mm-hmm. Matuto. Yeah. Ang dami nang magagawa nun eh. Diba? So we're talking about learning styles. Pero bakit natin ito pinag-uusapan? Kasi mahalaga na hindi tayo tumigil. Dahil sana magamit natin kung ano yung matutunan natin para magangat ng iba. Mm. I mean, if if you're getting it, di ba? If yeah. you have that capacity, kasi sa ngayon, it's really a privilege to go to good schools, di ba? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. If you have that privilege, use whatever you learned mm. right. to help other people, mm. to help fellow Filipinos. That's nice. And then create that space for them to learn. Mm. Ito para lahat tayo, lahat gagaling. Siguro yun yung last yeah. quote ko, di ba? Lahat gagaling. Sana lahat ng Pilipino gumaling. So, yun yun. Parang, the importance of learning. So, whether magpatuloy yung mga estudyante ko sa school, o huminto sila, ang point ay, matututo pa rin ba sila para maiangat nila yung sarili nila at magkaroon ng mas magandang buhay. So, yun. Ano? Ano? <laughs> May additional quote ako. Learning, ay, 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 learning can transform society. Oo. Oo. Uh, so, uh, <laughs> Yes, yes. Yes, Bea. <laughs> Nagtawa, teacher. Okay. Wag nga tayo ng isa't isa. Okay, so... <laughs> thank you so much, Teacher Sab, for spending time with us today. And for teaching us all of the different learning styles as well. Uh, kung hahanapin namin kayo sa socials, or where can we find you? Yeah. Ako ay social media introvert pero na- nasa Facebook ako so mm-hmm. um, look for me Sabrina Ongkiko yung makulay yung profile picture <laughs> nasa Instagram din ako yeah, uh, yeah at, at Sabrina Ongkiko yeah. there you go just spelled out yes okay. yes <laughs> Hindi ako marunong mag-handle ng mga ganyan. So, yun lang. But just, just yeah. so, if, if they want to yeah. find you, they they know that's Sabrina mm-hmm. yeah. Ongkiko with a K. Yes. yes. Diba? Oo, tayo babe. Uh, well, me is just at Jack to you across all social media platforms. Uh huh. And mine is at Bea underscore Benedicto across all social media <laughs> platforms. <laughs> oh my gosh. No, but you know what? Like, just, just, I uh, this has been a very thought provoking yeah. episode for me. Mm-mm. It brings back a lot of ano, eh, uh, what what I was taught in in high school and in college, especially all the. The Theo and the Philo classes. Mm-mm. Parang ganun. Yeah. Na minsan, paglabas mo, nakakalimutan mo na. Diba? Hacks, nagpatagalog siya doon ah. Thank you for having me. Dude, I know how to... Magaling ako magtagalog. <laughs> magaling ako good magtagalog. Job, good job. Diba? <laughs> Pero, that wraps up our episode for today. Yay! And for, you know, more internet, internet things. Internet things. Diba? You gotta oh, do this. You gotta do, do this. this. It's like yeah. internet <laughs> things. There you go. Uh, and the latest updates and trends. Follow PLDT Home on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, or X, TikTok, and YouTube. Have it all at home with PLDT Home Fiber on the all 1799. Get everything you need now in one upgrade. If you guys want to create a nice space for learning, get PLDT Fiber <laughs> only all 1799 para you can enjoy also unlimited internet speeds of up to 200 Mbps and comes with a special entertainment bundle plus more exciting promos and giveaways monthly. Just visit pldthome.com slash fiber dash upgrade for more details. This has been Convos at Home by PLDT Home. A space for conversations best shared at home. Catch you guys next time. Bye! Bye. 